Hello, and welcome to Howie's Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to turn this into this. A delicious chicken and black bean chili. Let's get started. I'm gonna start here with the chicken first. You can use chicken breasts, chicken thighs. I actually prefer chicken thighs myself. Find they have a little more flavor. Go through and trim a little bit of the fat off of here. As I get these all trimmed, we'll come back and we'll finish. We gotta cube them up. Okay, now that I've got them all trimmed, we're gonna cut them up into small bite-sized pieces, maybe three quarters of an inch, inch by inch, something like that. Now we're gonna get started on our produce. First, we're gonna take two large onions. We're gonna give those a, just a rough chop. Now we're gonna take five tomatoes and we're just gonna give them a rough chop as well. Um, I prefer using Roma's. We're gonna take one jalapeno. We'll cut it in half and we'll seed and devein. If you like a little more heat, you can always add another jalapeno or two or maybe even some serranos, heck, even a habanero. I like to use habaneros from time to time. Gives it uh, just one, gives it a little bit of smoke flavor. I do have two more things I'm gonna cut up here, here real quick. Got some andouille sausage. You can use kielbasa, but I like I like this one. This is um, Adele's Cajun style andouille. We're just gonna use two links. And then we're just gonna cut them into small slices here. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take two to three tablespoons of olive oil Add it to our pot over medium to medium high heat. We're gonna saute and brown the chicken. While that's heating up, we're gonna take two cans of black beans and two cups of chicken stock and add it to a saucepan over medium heat. Now that our oil's gotten heating up, I'm gonna take three cloves of garlic, we're gonna mince it into the pot, and then we're gonna add our chicken and let that saute for a little while. Mm, it's already smelling good. All right, so now to season this chicken up with fresh ground pepper, use my old coffee grinder. And we'll give it some uh, coarse ground sea salt and give that a good stir. So now we're going to add our onions. Now that we've got our onions nice and sauteed and softened, it's time to start adding our seasonings in here. Chili powder, smoked paprika, cumin, and cinnamon. All right, now that we got all of our seasonings added, we'll give, give this a good stir. And we're gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes or so. Let all those flavors meld together. We're gonna do half a cup of beer. I like to use an ale. Now we're gonna add about a half a teaspoon of oregano and a half a teaspoon of thyme. And we'll give that a good stir. Now let's add in our chopped tomatoes and get those mixed in. Okay, with the beer and the other seasonings incorporated, let's go ahead and add our jalapenos. And we're going to let this cook for about 15 minutes or so. Okay, so next we're going to take our beans that have been simmering. And we're going to add those. All right. We'll give everything a good stir. And we'll let this come up to a good simmer. So now we're going to add the two links of sausage that we've got cut up. All right, get these added in here. So now for the best part, we're all done. It's time to serve. All right, so what we like to do, I like to use Monterey Jack. You use cheese of your choice. Uh, pepper jack would be good. 
a little dollop of sour cream, a little bit of cilantro over the top, garnish with a little couple of avocados slices. Some tortilla chips on the side, you can crumble them over if you want. Bon appetit.